Hey, good morning, wood butchers. I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work. You're going to see me test it and probably fail, but that's okay. Shot fat hoses. We love them. We hate them. They're good. They're bad. They're ugly. But they have this corrugated sort of component to them, which gives them the rigidity, but also allows them to flex. Great. When I'm using my track saw on the new track saw table, which is covered in stuff from organizing the scrap bin area. Uh, I was looking at it going, okay, it's great, but it's always catching on edges and things. And if, again, this is rounded over, it's good, but if there's a bit of a sharp or, or sort of angled edge, these things get caught, they're hard to move. Festool makes a great hose, fantastic. I'm not gonna spend $6,000 or $150 or $200 or whatever it is gonna be for their hose. I need this specific size for the track saw and for my little battery powered DeWalt trim saw. And I'm tired of them getting caught in stuff and just being a pain. So, little Amazon searching, I found this stuff. It is expandable sleeving. It's like that, I don't know if you can see the texture. It's like that stuff you'd put on wires to protect them and that type of thing. So, uh, I think this was 20 bucks or something like that. I need to find some heat shrink tubing. I think I have about the right size. If not, I'll just use some zip ties and really crank it down. Let me uh, work away on this and let's see what we can come up with. Because I'm hoping that this is going to give me some nice, sort of much more compliant tubing that doesn't get jammed and it's not as rough and slides across stuff a little bit better and doesn't scratch things up. Don't know. Let me give this a shot and see what happens. Okay, so the tubing is nicely cut on this end. My experience is in the RC world of things, probably the best way to do that is with uh, a torch or a hot knife. Don't have a hot knife, so I usually just cut it, hold it still, and then torch it with a uh, little butane torch uh, or propane torch or whatever I have hanging around. So let me get this thing sleeved on the end of the hose and see how it works. All right, already sleeved up. I did a little hand, uh, sort of just holding it down and testing it, and it seems to flex pretty good. Just... If you've never played with this stuff, what you do is you're going to push it up from one end until it bunches up and then pull it down from the other end. So that's the way I've always found it works best. So yeah, it comes out to this end quite good. I'm going to zip tie that in uh, look around for some heat shrink tubing or even electrical tape would work. Ooh, I might just electrical tape that on uh, or zip tie and electrical tape. I don't know. I'm going to secure it down and then we're going to stretch it back all the way out figure out what length we want it, and then go from there. Let me uh, work on that now. Okay, everybody. Got everything sort of organized here. Uh, what I've done is the part of the sleeve that was all um, sort of melted and, and secured, I've hit with two zip ties. That's holding that pretty solid. And I've got the whole thing done up to the end here. Now, to get this sleeving really nice and sort of... Um, conforming. All I've been doing is pushing in a little bit and pulling. Push, pull. Push, pull. And you do that enough and it just tightens it up just a little bit because again these hoses are um, basically you know have ribs on them. As you push them together they kind of will squish in a bit so you can kind of tighten up this sleeving nicely and push it in. You can see I'm getting more sort of girth over here. Uh, it's kind of bunching up a little bit. So, oh, you vague. This is uh, pretty strong stuff. So do that a few times. Push, and you see how it bulges up now? So push it in, it bulges up, and then let the extra come out that way. Stretch it out, bunch it up. Now you can see I'm almost near the end of the hose here and it's pretty big. So all you do is you just give it one good stretch, pull on this part, and then it stretches out beautifully. A little bit of electrical tape there to hold that. Now it's nice and conformal. Um, so it stretches with it, it twists with it. It hasn't taken up any extra. And this is the, well, you can see how much, that's the extra that was on there. I didn't know how long to cut it. I just kind of 
guesstimated with extra and that's about it. So I'm going to zip this off with some uh, electrical tape, find some, I think I have some shrink tube and probably a zip tie and uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you when it's all finished up. Alrighty, so I found some of this, uh, you know, it's a heat shrink I use for batteries for RC stuff. It's about the right size, cut a little piece off right about there. Let's uh, fire up the uh, heat gun, see if I can keep from burning everything up. By the way, I love this uh, heat gun. It's the uh, digital one with the uh, temperature control. Let's uh, get it going here. Has two speeds as well. I really like that part. So I can uh, be cautious not to overdo things a little bit here and there. Shrink that up. So it's got a layer of um, electrical tape underneath. And then it's got this. The nice thing is that the end of the hose here has a little bit of a bevel to where it attaches into. So it's going to hold that nice and snug up against that bevel. So it's not going to want to slip out, I don't think. There we go. Looks like that heat shrink is nicely done up there. That looks good. Uh, I'm going to look and see if I can get a piece of this on the other end uh, to cover over those other areas. And if that works, I'll show you the finished product. All right, all done. So we got the uh, shrink tube on here. I like the heavier black stuff, um, but I just don't have any available. And this is all I had. Seems to be working. Uh, at some point in time, I may find some, some of that stuff and go from there. But it's nicely sleeved all the way along it doesn't affect its flexibility down at this end i double zip tied it and i offset the uh the two ends so that they're you know pulling each different ways and then hit it with the heat shrink here i couldn't put one zip tie on one side and one on the other it just wasn't working um for the size of this stuff but hey look snazzy doesn't rub. So if we look at on the edge of stuff or as I'm pulling it with the track saw, it's going to slide really nice and easy. doesn't catch. Again, I can still make really tight coils with it. Um, doesn't affect anything that way. If you're looking for a nice sleeved hose and you don't want to pay the big bucks, this is a great upgrade to your shop vac hose. I got some thicker stuff. I might try that with the uh, bigger one. Uh, I got some of the, you know, two and a half inch or two and a quarter or whatever they are. I'm going to give that a go too. Have a great weekend, everybody. A couple projects going to be popping up on the YouTube, but let's see how it goes.